Rub a dub dub. Hydrogen in the tub? Sounds like something from a sci fi wellness spa, but it's real. Most people think of molecular hydrogen as something you drink or breathe. But what if I told you there's a way to soak in molecular hydrogen and experience full body benefits through your skin? Today, we're diving into one of the most underrated and fascinating uses for molecular hydrogen therapy hydrogen baths. And trust me, this might just be the most relaxing way to fight oxidative stress you've never heard of. Hydrogen baths are becoming one of the most popular ways to use hydrogen therapy in the world right now. But what exactly is a hydrogen bath? How does it work? And is there actual science behind it? The answer is yes. And today we're breaking it all down for you, H2 Minute style. But first, a quick shout out to our amazing Patreon supporters and YouTube members. You all make these videos possible. Thank you for keeping the hydrogen education alive and thriving. Become a patron or YouTube member and get access to behind the scenes content and more. What is a hydrogen bath? Let's start simple. A hydrogen bath is just what it sounds like. A bath where the water is infused with molecular hydrogen gas or H2. You can soak your whole body or just part of it like your feet, your hands, and even your face. But the key is that the water contains therapeutic levels of dissolved hydrogen gas. My company H2 Hub has reviewed multiple hydrogen bath studies and determined that the minimum therapeutic concentration likely to induce therapeutic effects in humans is 0.3 milligrams per liter or PPM. For perspective, that is about one fifth of the saturation point of hydrogen gas dissolved into water at normal bath temperatures, around 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. But even that small concentration can lead to topical or systemic beneficial effects. One key study measured hydrogen gas in a person's exhaled breath during a bath and found that H2 was detectable within 10 minutes proving dermal diffusion and systemic circulation. Why hydrogen baths? Here's the thing, hydrogen gas is poorly soluble in water and its solubility decreases as the temperature increases. At 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit, water can hold up to 1.6 milligrams per liter of H2. At typical bath temperatures or 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit, that drops to 1.4 milligrams per liter. That is a 12.5% decrease in solubility. But even if you saturate the water, the hydrogen gas starts dissipating rapidly. The large surface area of a bath and the heat make hydrogen gas dissipate faster than a sealed bottle or at normal drinking water temperatures. So for hydrogen baths to be effective, generally you have to produce high volumes of hydrogen gas continuously or all at once to offset the losses. That's why quality bath specific tablets or electrolysis systems are engineered to overcome those losses and hit that greater than three milligram per liter minimum threshold. That's why it's so important to have the right setup for your H2 bath. That way it won't fall short of the right H2 dosage. What can hydrogen baths help with? Let's talk evidence. Hydrogen baths have been shown to support improvements in psoriasis, in a controlled trial, 56% of the patients reach a 50% or greater improvement in the psoriasis disease score. Skin aging. In a daily bath protocol using nanobubble H2 water, participants saw measurable wrinkles and blocked reductions in just four weeks. Athletic recovery. A 20 minute H2 bath after exercise significantly reduced muscle soreness and neutrophil activity. Oxidative stress. Hydrogen-rich water baths raise antioxidant status and lower C-reactive proteins and marker of inflammation within a couple hours after the bath. Fat reduction. One study showed visceral fat reduction and improved lipid profile in participants after one to six months of H2 bathing. Mechanistically, the effects are driven by hydrogen's unique ability to selectively reduce the hydroxyl radical and peroxynitrate levels, modulate gene expression of cytoprotective proteins through through NRF2 activation. Reduce inflammation through the inhibition of NF-kappa B and MAPK pathways. Improve mitochondrial function and cellular signaling. Stabilize mast cells, which can reduce histamine release and improve outcomes in allergic or inflammatory skin conditions. Suppress pro-cell death signaling, including downregulation of caspase 3 and backs protecting tissue from unnecessary cellular death. Upregulate anti-inflammatory cytokines, 
such as interleukin-10, shifting the immune system towards resolution and repair. Enhanced thermoregulation and peripheral microcirculation, helping to maintain heat longer post-bath and improve blood flow to the skin and extremities. And remember, thanks to H2's size, nonpolar property, and neutral structure, it diffuses effortlessly through the skin, into capillaries, and throughout the entire body faster than any molecule in existence. How do you make a hydrogen bath? There are three main technologies and each have their own unique strengths and limitations. Number one, hydrogen bath tablets. These are elemental magnesium based tablets that react with water to generate hydrogen gas. This is the chemical equation of how it works. These tablets contain organic acids like malic acid or tartaric acid to help maintain the pH and speed up the reaction. Currently, a typical H2 bath tablet contains 240 milligrams of magnesium, generating 20 milligrams of H2, which also converts to 243 milliliters of H2. These hydrogen bath tablets dissolve 20% of the H2 they generate based on our testing. Dosage tip. To hit 0.3 milligrams per liter in an average size bathtub, around 30 gallons, you need about eight to 10 tablets. Here are some pros for the hydrogen bath tablets. Portable and simple, no power needed. Effective for localized or full body baths. Here are some cons. Limited control over timing. Ongoing cost over time. Leaves magnesium hydroxide residue in the bathtub or container, which is harmless, but is visible. Number two, internal electrolysis hydrogen bath devices. These are H2 bath devices that utilize electrolysis to generate hydrogen gas inside the device. It sometimes used recirculating pumps plus PEM or AWI electrolysis. Also, they're often paired with micro bubble diffusers for better H2 gas dissolution. In our testing, some of these devices can generate 0.3 to 1.0 plus milligrams per liter in a well-infused bath and maintain its output over time. Here are some of the pros. Maintain high H2 concentration potential. Automated and continuous. Great for clinics and frequent users. Long-term use. Here are some of the cons. Expensive upfront costs. Requires a power source. Some portable models underperform in large volumes. Some portable models can produce chlorine. Number three, external electrolysis infusion hydrogen bath devices. This involves pairing a hydrogen gas generator like a PM inhaler with an H2 bath infusion system to pump hydrogen gas into the bath. Molecular hydrogen is piped into a circulation and infusion loop in the unit. They come with micro bubble diffusers to help increase dissolution. Performance example based on our testing, a 600 milliliter per minute H2 gas generator infused into 132.5 liters or 35 gallons of water for 20 minutes reach 1.27 milligrams per liter of H2 or 92% of the saturation point at 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Here are some pros. Scalable based on gas generator output. Great for those who already own an H2 gas generator. Works with low flow rate and high flow rate H2 gas generators. Here are some cons. Setup complexity. Requires two devices, so it has a high upfront cost. Possible compatibility issues. May require a lot of space. If you're interested in tested and approved hydrogen bath technologies, then you should visit my company H2 Hub, where we have all three types of these hydrogen bath products. Final thoughts. So what do we learn? Hydrogen baths are a proven non-invasive way to administer H2. Even topical applications can lead to systemic antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. The key is reaching and maintaining therapeutic concentrations in warm bath water. Tablets, internal electrolysis, and external infusions each offer viable methods depending on your needs and budget. Pro tip, if using H2 bath tablets, let them fully react between three to five minutes before entering the bath. The reaction can generate heat and sitting on one can hurt your butt. So you don't wanna do that. Hydrogen baths aren't just relaxing, they are a whole body wellness intervention backed by real science. If this video helped you understand hydrogen baths better, let us know in the comments. And don't forget, I documented my own hydrogen bath protocol while healing my fingers from a second degree burn. That video is powerful and shows just how real these effects can be. Check that out next. And as always, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any hydrogen facts. And that's your rub-a-dub dose of H2 within minutes.